So we'll define a regular expression over sigma, and its corresponding language is the empty set corresponding to the language empty set, the empty string corresponding to the language consisting of just the empty string, any symbol corresponding to the language consisting of just that symbol, and then if R and S are regular, corresponding to languages LR and LS, then the concatenation, union, and star closure are also regular, corresponding to the languages. Effectively, a regular language is one whose entries can be constructed using a regular expression. For example, suppose our simple set is A, B. Let's prove that this language is a regular language. So remember, any time we are asked to verify, prove, show, explain, or any number of synonyms, one useful guideline is we want to start one level down. What do we mean by that? For example, here's something that's not a proof. Since the union of two symbols, concatenation, and closure of a regular expression is a regular expression, the language is regular. The important thing to realize is that this is not a proof. To understand why, let's consider something else that's not a proof. Since a sandwich consists of a filling between two slices of bread, a rubber tire is a sandwich. And in both cases, the important thing is that we have not shown that our object meets these requirements, and so we need to go one level down. So our language consists of the union of these three things. If we can show that each of these is a regular expression, we're done. So, definitions are the whole of mathematics, all else is commentary. Let's pull in our definition of regular languages, and we see that A is a regular expression, since it's a symbol of our set sigma. Next, AB star is a regular expression, since it's the closure of AB, which is a regular expression. Or is it? So, the important thing here is we're claiming AB is a regular expression, so we need to go one level down. A and B are regular expressions since they're elements of sigma. So their concatenation is regular. And so their closure is regular. And for our third term, a and B are regular expressions since they're elements of sigma, so their union is regular, and so their closure is regular. And since A, AB star, and A, B star are all regular, their union is regular, so L is a regular language. Now, every regular language should have a regular expression defining the language, so let's try and find one. Let our set be A and B, and let L consist of all strings that begin with A and end with B. Let's find a regular expression for L. So remember, concrete never hurts, and if you build it, they will come. So let's consider a few elements of L. We can construct these strings by putting down an A, following any number of A's and B's in any order, and then ending with B. So the regular expression corresponding to the symbol A is just A itself, and to avoid confusion we'll use parentheses. In set notation, we want to include all possible strings whose elements are either A or B, so this would be the set AB with the star closure. Now, to write this as a regular expression, we note that this is the union of A and B, that's A plus B, and the closure of the union will be the star of A plus B. Finally, we'll append the regular expression B, and again, we'll enclose that in parentheses. Now, while we could go on to the next problem, remember, if you don't find your mistakes, someone else will. And while everyone blames the computer, it's not the one who gets fired. 
So let's make sure that this expression does actually produce the language we want. So let's read this. The regular expression says to start with A, put down any sequence of A's and B's, and then finish with B. And this gives us a string that starts with A and ends with B, which is what we wanted. Or let's consider another example. So again, we'll take our symbol set A and B, and this time we'll let our language consist of all strings of even length. So concrete never hurts, so let's put down a few strings of even length. Note that since they're of even length, we can break these strings into pairs of symbols. And this suggests that all strings of even length can be formed by concatenation of any number of four different types of strings. And so we could write this as, and as a regular expression, this becomes, or let's take a look at another example. Let's try to write a regular expression for the language which consists of all strings with length 5. If you build it, they will come. So let's construct some elements of L. So, for example, we might have A, 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 or maybe A, B, 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 A, or maybe B, A, B, A, B. And note we can build these strings by selecting A or B and then repeat four more times. And so this suggests a regular expression is a or B, 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 or since we have the same factor appearing five times, we can write this as A plus B to power five. So what if we wanted to write a regular expression for the language that consists of all strings of length eight or less? So a good strategy, consistency counts. So a string like A, B, B, A can be viewed as a string with length equal to 8 if we allow the inclusion of the empty string. So to construct a string of, so to speak, length 8, we'll choose from A, B, or lambda. And so an expression for L is 